In a penalty-ridden grudge match against SMU, the Terps came out on top, 34-27. to Roman Hemby's 213 all-purpose yards, along with late-game defensive stops, pushed the Terps over the edge, bringing home the W in their last non-conference matchup. Under the lights at Capital One Field, both Maryland and SMU struggled to get the ball rolling. A 6-3 Mustang lead after the first quarter was increased as SMU found the end zone the very first play of the second quarter. It was Roman Hemby whose 151 rushing yards and 62 receiving yards injected the Maryland offense and propelled them onward. I feel like I was able to make some plays through the, you know, the course of our offensive plays, you know, nothing special. You know, they kind of they kind of had us in the first half, and I feel like we did our due diligence, and, and we came back out, and we got it done. You know, it was just one of those things where um, we put a body on the body, and we were just trying to win our one-on-one -on -one battles, and we were victorious in that, in that aspect. All the momentum pointed in the Terps' favor, followed by a 48-yard touchdown pass from Talia Tagovailoa to Rakim Jarrett. Then the penalties came. The Terps tallied 15 total penalties and 141 penalty yards on the night. The Mustangs took advantage of the Maryland penalties, regaining the lead on the scoreboard 27-20. to Entering the fourth quarter, the Maryland rushing attack, along with a stellar defensive performance from defensive back Bo Braid, brought the momentum back to the Terps. First, it was Hemby, who found the end zone to tie it up at 27 apiece. Then, it was tight end Corey Deitches who hauled in a touchdown for the 34-27 lead. The Terps defense put an end to SMU's hopes of victory, holding off the Mustangs and tacking another win into the win column. Obviously, we got a lot of things to get cleaned up on offense. It starts with me with the penalties. I'll get that corrected. But it sure feels good to be 3-0. But uh, again, I'm proud of our guys. We're 3-0, and, and, and now we got to turn the page in 24 hours and get ready for league play. Maryland finishes non-conference play with a record of three wins and zero losses. Their next matchup will be on the road in Ann Arbor as the Terps will take on Michigan for their first game of Big Ten regular season play. For Terrapin Sports Central, I'm Ricky Podgorski.